Okay, this is going to be a video with the preloader installed and the drive key. On mine, they conflict, and I couldn't play uh, Super Mario Brothers Wii, and I figured out why. Okay, so you're going to go to your menu hacks. You're going to disable all of them. Go back. Go to your system menu. <clears throat> I couldn't uh, get my drive key to come on. Well, it turns out because preloader was enabled. So, let's set up the drive key. Okay. It loaded. Start. Okay, we'll turn it on. Save settings. Reboot. Okay, now we'll put game that plays with the drive key times four. Okay, loaded. Okay, reset it, now we'll try to load the Smash uh, Super Mario Brothers Wii with the Neo Gamma. with the drive key activated. Not doing anything. So you get the error. Okay. We set it, you checked. Okay. Well, and on the preloader, you have to disable all of the uh, system menu hacks in order to get the drive key to boot. Otherwise, it won't. Okay. So we'll turn it off. Save settings. Okay, reboot. Okay, go back here. System menu hacks. Enable block disk updates and reason free block. Online updates, okay. Should be good. Go back. Go to system menu. Now 
Then you got your Super Mario Wii. Okay. Start. And there you go if you have trouble loading your Super Mario Brothers Wii with a drive key times 4. I do not have the one with the updated chip. So this is what I do and this is how I got mine to play. And it plays, it doesn't stop playing, it just Works great. If I miss anything, just ask me a question and try to get back to you. This works for me. I hope it works for you people that have the drive key. Since they won't put up their new firmware update download so we can do it. I'm pretty sure they have it since they uh, came out with the new chip. So, thanks for watching.